This video is sponsored by Soy Fresh Soya Milk. Hi, my name is Cody and welcome back to the vid. Today we're going to be nerding out and calculating if it's possible to clear out the shop. The first thing that you need to know is to know how much exactly it costs to clear out the shop. So in order for you to get all of these resources, you're going to be needing to accumulate 31,910 event currencies. By the way, the currency is called Voyage Millage, but I just want to simplify things. That's why I'm going to be calling it currency from now on. There are three main ways to get the event currency. The first one is by clearing the story. The second one is by finishing the mission from Voyage Recorder. And lastly, by beating the shit out of the boss every day. The story gives you a total of 6,100 currency for the first time you clear it. Finishing all of the mission gives you a total of 8,100 currency and then the boss gives you 1,000 currency each day. The event will last for 11 days so that is multiplied by 11 so that is equals to 11,000. So adding all of these up, that's a total of 25,200 event currencies. Which unfortunately will not be enough to clear out the shop. But good news is, we also have another way in getting these currencies. During the event period, you will be receiving one event currency for each one stamina that you spend. So the math becomes 31,910 minus 25,200. So that is equal to 6,710 event currency that you still need that you can get by spending the same amount of stamina. So now you may be wondering if you are able to get all of those stamina, all 6,710 stamina by being free to play on the period of 11 days. So let's calculate it as well. When the event started, all of us started with 140 stamina due to the long ass maintenance. By the way, props to the PTN team. I am completely satisfied with the actions that you guys took for the compensation. Anyway, speaking of compensations, the total that we got from them was 590 stamina. And then we get a total of 380 stamina daily. That includes the natural recharge plus the 120 that we get to claim each day. Multiply by 11 so that is a total of 4,180 stamina that we get naturally. And assuming that you have a level 5 secret chamber, you get 48 stamina each day. Multiply it by 11, that's 528. So all in all, that is equals to 5,438 stamina that you get as free to play. Now for players who bought the Black Key VIP, they get 100 stamina each day. So 100 times 11, that's 1,100. Add that up to the free to play stamina. That is a total of 6,538 stamina. So as you can see, the stamina that you're getting as an F2P and or VIP will not be enough to clear out the shop, unfortunately. But let's say if you purchase stamina for a minimum of twice a day. So by purchasing stamina twice a day, you get 200. Multiply that by 11. That's 2,200. Add that up with the F2P gain. 5,438 plus 2,200. That's a total of 7,638 stamina. That will be more than enough to clear out the shop, regardless if you have VIP or not. So long story short, if you really want to guarantee yourself to clear out the shop, just make sure to buy stamina twice daily during the 11 day period of the event. So that is it for the guide in clearing out the shop. You don't know, maybe one of the devs would see this and say, Oh, I guess it's not enough for them to clear the shop as F2P. Let me just change that and give the player base an additional stamina to show them that we're generous. <laughs> but yeah, that's Major Cobium. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video even though I know you only skipped to the TLDR part. As always, this has been Cody. Thanks for watching. Peace out.